Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are enjoying my video. If you guys do like my content, please do hit the like and subscribe button guys and do follow me on Instagram and my newly created Facebook page. Guys, today's video will be talking about what can kill your Ares robot or what are the weapons or the other robots which can be very harmful for your Ares robot. As you can see on the screen guys, the Ares it has a role of tankiness or it's a tanky robot in this game. The energy limit for this robot right now is 12 and the HP is 34,800 for this robot. The speed for this robot is 5 km per hour which I think is very slow, actually one of the slowest robot in this game. The ability duration is 15 seconds which is very good enough time because the shield will stay open for 15 seconds and you can have sufficient time to defend yourself. Ability cooldown air whereas it's 12 seconds which I think is a bit on higher side because the cooldown takes a lot of time for the shield which could have been better. The shield durability for me right now is 9500 and the power is 227. So the ability of this robot is white shield and the trait of this uh, robot is it's a team defender. Yes, the shield can be used to protect yourself as well as your teammates guys. But it has exposed flanks. That means the behind part and the sides of this robot are not covered with the shield. The shield is just in the front. So from behind you might get hit or you might get killed from behind guys. So let's try to know what all things can actually kill your Ares robot. So let's begin a game. As you can see guys, I am landing on Mesa Verde facility and I will be using my shadow robot firstly to just to capture beacon first so that we can have a lead or we can make some pressure on the enemy team. Guys, Ares has a role of tank as you already discussed. It's a tanky robot. It has a shield which can stay as long as 15 seconds and the shield time of reload is 12 seconds guys. The back side of the Ares is uh, quite open so yes it can be flanked from back. So the back side is a bit exposed. Let's try to get my very first kill. I hope yes I got my very first kill, first blood. Let's try to capture this beacon guys. Guys Ares is a very slow robot and but because of its health it's very good for brawling. It's similar to Juggernaut. Juggernaut shield uh, regenerates on its own slowly slowly when it's completely depleted but for Ares you have to put on the shield like the shield is under your control whenever you want to put it on and the shield of the Ares is quite big it's quite wide enough you can cover yourself as well as your teammates so it's actually a very plus point for having an Ares robot let's try to get this beacon as well I don't think so this robot will last long and Oh yeah, they just killed me. Anyways, so I will just bring my Ares robot now. So, the Ares when the shield is gone guys, once your shield is used, like right now you can see on the screen. My shield is right now on, but once the shield is gone, then I need to find cover. Finding cover is very important or else you are just a sitting duck. They can easily take you out. You are a very easy target for them once the shield is gone. So you need to find covers once your shield is gone. And shield, as I told you, it has a long loading time. 12 seconds is a bit long loading time. Let's try to get this guy as well. And the Ares robot is it's costing 75,000 credits, guys, in the game if you want to get it. Uh, it will cost you 75,000 credits and it's a bit costly to upgrade also this robot. It's a bit expensive robot to have in your hangar. The best weapons which can go on this robot are for the close range I would suggest missile rack which I'm using right now. You can use pulse cannon, you can use javelins, you can use carbine and RPGs also can be used very efficiently on this robot. And if you want to use this robot for long range, I have two Ares coming from this side on me, my goodness. 
So if you want to use this robot for long range, as you can see, these guys are using uh, thermal lance, which is also a very good uh, weapon to be used on this robot. You can use long arm, which is one of the best and amazing weapon. You can check my video on long arm, guys. I have done a review on that. As well as you can use status beam. These are weapons which you can use on this robot for longer range. You saw just guys, I was getting hit from behind. That guy was actually hitting me from behind. So my behind is quite exposed. In this robot, the behind is exposed guys. So you have to always need to know your surrounding like how the match is going because someone can just from can come from behind and just kill you without any efforts. So having such bulky robot in your hangar and getting it killed so easily doesn't make sense. So guys, now we will actually discuss what can kill your Ares, like what all things are deadly for your Ares and what all things you can know to avoid getting your Ares killed so easily. Let's start another match, it was a decent match for us. So very first point guys is you can get killed from behind, so always make sure your behind is uh, behind your mind, you always know that your behind is covered or someone or you are aware of your behind what's happening then guys the speed is slow of this robot so you can get killed with mortars rocket mortars can catch you very easily so that is one of the deadliest weapon which can be used on you and many of the people they have rocket mortars in their hangars guys then one thing which I personally noticed is like the first pulse cannon auto cannons like the ones which are uh, firing at a very fa higher speed those weapons are shredding your shield very fast like they can literally chew your shield your shield will be depleted very fast so those weapons are also to be kept in mind when you are playing against those weapons and javelins guys javelins they can get you on your exposed part maybe your front is covered maybe from sides or from behind the javelins can get you if they are in from they are been angled from a good angle like they have been fired from quite distance so yes javelins can get you the missile racks and the rpgs they are very good in depleting your shield guys I just got this guy the missile rack and RPGs when they fire because they're uh, when they're firing their shots are having same effect in any distance so they can do a lot of damage on your shield guys so you need to be very careful of those weapons coming to the robot the enemy for this robot is Guardian and Zyper guys Guardian and Zyper they can literally kill you because Guardian, the moment it will use your its ability, your uh, robot's shield is gone. And once your shield is gone, as I told you, this robot is a sitting duck. It's an easy target. You can get killed very easily. So, Guardian robot, you have to be very careful, guys. As well as Zypher. Because that robot, when it's using its uh, ability, then everything is frozen. And then you are just sitting there and you can die very easily because you can't even move. They can just kill you from behind. So be careful of these two robots. Cheetah, don't try to ignore Cheetah guys because I tried to ignore Cheetah a few times and I didn't know there are mines sitting around me and I just stepped on them and I'm dead. The shield is of no use, I just got killed just because of the mines. So be careful of Cheetah robot guys. And yes the kill shot guys the kill shot if your robot is very well upgraded then the kill shot may not be able to kill you in one or two dashes because once you are well upgraded the dash your shield can take the dash so yes you are a bit protected with the kill shot but i would not say you are completely protected if the kill shot is well upgraded and you are not so much then definitely it will kill you but yeah, the shield can give you a bit of protection. And guys, as I told you, once your shield is gone, you are a sitting duck. So always once your shield is finished, go in hiding. These all tips if you will follow guys, 
you can actually last long in the game with the Ares robot. And I just finished this game with six kills and two beacons. I hope you guys enjoyed my content guys because now you guys know what can actually kill your Ares robot. If you do like my content, please do hit the like and subscribe button and do follow me on Instagram. And also do check out my Facebook page which I just created new. Thanks for watching guys.